Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Today I thought that I'd give you a tutorial on how to use the new white balance tester action from the Estate Collection version 2.0. This is a new set that is totally redesigned over version 1.0 and it also includes 11 brand new actions for you which I think are very helpful. Uh, one of these actions is the white balance testing action. And this is a useful tool. You can see that the image we're looking at right now is really way too warm. Um, in real estate photography, you want to make sure that your whites are truly white and um, don't want to take a whole lot of creative license with, um, with these things. So let's just go ahead and correct this image. The first thing that we're going to do is pull up our actions window by going to window actions and it's going to pull it up and here I'm working in Photoshop and this is the Estate Collection version 2.0 and you can see that they're all arranged according to their category. We're going to go ahead and find the white balance test action and press play. You can see that nothing happens on the image. You have some instructions here. You want to go ahead and read them, make sure you understand and then press continue. And what we're going to do is double click on this square of color. We're going to use the color picker to then sample areas around the image and see what color comes up. So you can see I just sampled here and it's very orange. We really don't want it to be orange, that's just too warm. We want it to be a little bit cooler, closer to white. Um, we want to try to make sure that we are able to stay in this neutral zone over here and not to the right. So as we go, we're going to try to get this color picker over to the left a little bit. So I'm just going to sample the whites around the room. Over here looks like it's pretty red. Down here looks pretty yellow-orange. Still yellow-orange. Let's go over here yellow orange. This is a little more red. Ceiling looks pretty red and here we've got yellow orange. Okay so now we've identified that we have a yellow orange problem and also a little bit of a red problem. So go ahead and click OK. So now we're going to go down to these four actions. Reduce the reds, mellow the yellow, two blue, and lower the thermostat. First, I'm going to choose Reduce the Reds and press play. Okay, so it has reduced the reds by a little bit, probably not enough, so we're going to come up to the opacity slider and bring it up so that it does a little bit more red reducing. Okay, so now you can see it's reduced the reds quite a bit. We'll go back to our color picker and we'll start picking colors out of the whites. The door still looks a little bit red. These areas are still orange yellow. Okay, so let's go ahead and play mellow the yellow. Try to take out some of the extra yellow. So you can see that did a really good job of taking out the yellow. That's before. That's after. Just try it again, before and after. We'll go back to our color picker choose around. You can see that it's a little bit um, further to the left, which is exactly what we want. More in the neutral zone. This is still a little orange yellow. Okay, so I think we've still got a little bit of red problem going on tiny bit of a yellow problem going on. So what we can do is just slide up the master opacity slider on the reds. Yellow we can take up a little bit more. And kind of just eyeball it as you're going, I can see, you know, as I raise the opacity slider that these colors are reducing. We'll go back to our color picker. And it looks like we've gone much farther to the left, which is what we're trying to do. In some places it looks just a little bit cooler than it did before, but I think we're probably okay. That's like a perfect neutral right there. Okay, so I would say that this looks good to me. 
as it is. Let's take a look at the before and the after. This is before, this is after. You can see the whites are much whiter. Too warm, and that's perfect. Okay, so let's just say that our image is way too um, cold. We can use the, the two blue, and let me just um, see what I can do to make it a little bit too cool. Okay, so that's a little bit too cool. And so we would, and we'll find out um, if it's too cool by using the color picker. So you can see that we're in the purples now. There's the blue, so we know that it's way too cool. Especially over here. Okay, so let's just say that this image is way too cool. We can um, use two blue, press play, and it'll help warm it up a little bit. For two blue, after two blue. So it's just something that you have to, you know, work on your individual image. The next one we have is lower the thermostat, and it's just a really simple action to um, take down the temperature of the room immediately. So we'll just press play, and you can see that it took it way down. It's too cool now, so we'll go ahead and lower the opacity. Take it all the way down and then just bring it back up. It ta it's taking out the reds and the yellows instead of just reds or just yellows. So you can see the before and the after. The whites are much better. We can choose our color picker again and just look around. We're all in the purple range here but in the neutrals. Um, you see how this is pretty neutral zone. The door is way too blue. So the only thing that we would need to do is just lower it a little bit. We're in the neutrals here. I would say that this looks pretty good though. So that's how you use, use the new white balance test action. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.